So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to find a product to sell on eBay on a consistent basis. This will apply to you. Either you're doing a drop shipping, you're doing a retail arbitrage, or you want to do a wholesale as well, because I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step guide, how you can find a high profit, successful product to sell right now. Let's get started. My name is Zancha on this channel. I help you make hundred thousand pound every single year. That is my mission by selling a stuff on eBay, Amazon, or Shopify. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, consider subscribing i'm not just saying it please just hit the like button and subscribe button it is completely free let's get started with the video if you're serious about drop shipping on ebay or selling on ebay on a consistent basis that the tool which i recommend you get a first subscription for is called zeke analytics because when it comes to doing a product research on ebay zeke analytics will make your life really really easy as well and a lot of people ask me like what plan they should get for like currently they have a 50 percent off and pro plan is more than enough even though you want to use an enterprise plan you can always get started with only one dollar free trial like literally it only gonna cost you one dollar for seven days so you can try the tool see how you actually feel it and then get the proper subscription and they have a 50 percent off on this one but it completely worth the price at the end of day i'm gonna go inside the zeke analytics and i'm gonna show you how to actually do the product research when it comes to dropship on selling on ebay as well so let me go inside the tool right now once you get started the first thing you want to do is to come to this quick setting sign right here as well as soon as you're going to click on quick setting this menu you're going to come up so here you're going to need to select your location wherever you are your shipping location i am in the united kingdom but the main thing that you need to keep in mind is the source website right here source website it will be wherever you're gonna source your product from what the zeke analytics will do that it will compare the prices with that particular website so let's say you are using a cj drop shipping as your supplier you can select it cjdropshipping.com if you want to do like a wholesale you want to buy the things in the bulk you can do alibaba.com or let's say you want to do from aliexpress or walmart you can select whatever the supplier that you're going to be using for your product research and whatever your business model will be at the end of day so i'm gonna select aliexpress.com just to compare the prices at this break even right here you can see the break even it will be like it gonna calculate the fee as well so normally it is 10 percent i will normally leave that to 10 percent as well and then you just simply gonna click on the apply to it now you are somebody who have no idea like where to get started from so what i normally recommend look at 500 best selling items this is where you will be able to get some inspiration as well so as soon we're going to click on that one we got location option right here so we can actually filter that according to the country where we are so i am in the uk i'm going to select uk as well it works in the us wherever the ebay is at the end of the day as well so this is the data from last 48 hours you can see that right here this is saying from last 48 hours as well so everything is actually up to date right here as well so what i normally look for like i want to stay away from something which is branded uh i don't want to compete with those types of things as well so obviously this one is not branded and this is the top selling item as well so i can actually open that by clicking on these analytics sign right here so i'm gonna open that one and i'm gonna open a couple of options as well i want to see this one as well i want to see this ha high visibility jacket as well right here i also let's see this uh, thermal coat right here as well so you know all that kind of stuff normally as i said i want to stay away from something which is branded so for example this item right here this is it looks like it is a, some kind of brand as well so i do normally like to compete directly with a brand once we open that one there are a couple of things i like to see first before i decide that this product will be worth selling or not so i will explain what everything means at the end of day as well so this graph right here the graph that you can see right here it shows that how consistent is the sale throughout the year as well so this one it is obviously uh, a little uh, you know spike right here and little bit down right here as well but it's not like a like a big spikes like you know like this or this or this like obviously this is a winter related item so i uh, i think like this is a winter time right here so that's why the sale obviously goes up during the time of december so that's the first thing i do how seasonal dependent the item is at the end of day but this one 
even though it's a winter related item but it's obviously always cold in the uk so this is a, a very consistent item throughout the year as well so that normally like check it for me now the the next thing which i see is this one right here this one actually shows like how diverse is the sale among other sellers as well because this one uh, this particular product is only dominated by one seller so that's why this circle is all the way like only online home shop right here but just to give you some kind of comparison if we look at this circle right here this one is very diverse among other people as well so normally i like to see the sale little bit diverse so which means one seller is not actually dominating each and everything as well other thing that you want to see like even though the sell through rate is saying like 399,000 right here but what you need to keep in mind it's only pulling the data from four listings as well so the sell through rate is normally something which i you know ignore it sometime so uh, there is a healthy sale for this particular item you can see right here that this one do have over 14 thousand sale in last 30 days but uh, what i don't like about this particular product is like this is very dominated by one seller so because of this reason i am out of this product so this is the type of my criteria which i have when i'm doing a product research now let's go on to the next product right here this one the sale right here and the same story you can see this one is also dominated by one seller the sale is also big spike right Right. You, you, you see what i mean it is a really big spike as compared to right here but in this case if i see right here if the sale is very consistent yes there is a big spike but it doesn't look like like all the way up right here and then it's a very less sale right here uh, and also this is dominated by one seller so i i wouldn't go into this particular product as well now let's go on to the next one the reason i'm showing you this is because once you are doing it obviously you're going to come across these things as well so you can make up your mind before we look for the supplier which zeke analytics can obviously help us do that before we actually decide if this product will be worth selling as well so this product right here this one is a obviously a, a jacket which is a, a high visibility jacket with the high visibility jacket you can see right here the sale is somewhat consistent right here and this is also not heavily dominated by one seller the sale is a bit diverse among other seller as well and this is put the data from 100 listings and the sale sell through rate will make sense right here that 159 percent which is okay in this case and average selling price is about 20 pounds so if i look that i can actually filter that with the number of sales so if i click right here then it's gonna show me the sale of like a, a, this these ones are not getting any sales as well so i'm gonna stay away from these if i filter then this one the seller is getting sale this seller is getting sale as well so what i normally try to look for is somebody who have a very less feedback and you can actually see that right here and the reason we are looking for a seller who will have a less feedback because uh, if they are new to the platform and they are selling something successfully which means uh, we can sell the same item as well so it's a type of thing so you can see this seller what we see right here this star one this one is uh, actually the feedback so this seller the first one got over seven thousand feedback the second one is just 258 which i already like it and as compared to the third one over 64000 rest of everybody is with the higher feedback but this particular seller is with less feedback and they already have sold 20 of these jackets as well so what i normally do first time i will just click on this icon right here and this one will actually find me the supplier depending on whatever the setting i have done either it's aliexpress which i shown you in the beginning of the video so if I click right here, it's going to find me the supplier for that one or supplier to actually drop ship the item from the AliExpress as well. So this one, you can see a lot of different, different supplier it is pulling out. But sometime if uh, it doesn't really pull up the supplier, then you can normally click uh, on the search the title on AliExpress as well. So it will search by the title. So there are like many different, different types of jackets as well. Like some of them are like, uh, you know, little as 
15 pound 10 pound so whenever you see a seller like that but i normally do is like once i look at their one item i normally just simply click on this icon right here and that will actually scan all of the product which they are selling so which mean you can it's it's a kind of cheat like they have done all the hard work already you can just simply filter and see what item are doing better for them already so they are somebody with the less feedback like only 258 feedback right here and when i comes to like you know i just simply clicked on this icon which called scan seller right here and i it will show me their store so roughly they are like considering a new seller making over thousand pound in terms of sale is really really good and their average selling price is 1150 right here as well so what i can do i can just simply come right here and i can filter their best selling items so these ones are selling like a bed sheets right here also these jackets are doing really really well for them as well also these uh, you know waterproof towel all of that kind of stuff as well so let's say if i need to uh, you know find the the supplier for this particular cattle right here all i have to do is just simply click on again aliexpress right here so again it is it given me all the item which are proven to be you know seller uh, by the seller who have a less feedback so we can obviously compete with them and uh, uh, it, it is giving me all the data and all the suppliers right here as well and it will also calculate the profit based on the prices with the supplier so this is the type of one way to get started with it the other thing which i like to do inside the zeke analytics that you can do automatic scan as well but that's the the feature which is in a, a enterprise version but i completely like really love it so once you click on autopilot what you can normally do you can click on a new scan right here so once you click on new scan you can actually automatically choose a filter so let's say I want to do Amazon to eBay dropshipping. I will choose Amazon as a supplier. But let's say if I want to do AliExpress to eBay dropshipping or I want to buy the item from AliExpress, which are cheap, I can just simply select this filter right here. So what we will do, let's say I want to find an item which have a minimum 10 sale and maximum 50 sale because I don't want item to be over competitive. In how many days? In last seven days, you can, you can choose 14 days. I like to see the latest one. So last seven days and also the prices so somewhere between 10 to 30 pound how many products you want to find 200 and as soon as you're gonna click on a scan what it gonna do it gonna keep on running the scan on a back end so this is like a completely looking the item on an autopilot so once the scan will be finished it will normally look something like this and it will show you all the products where it's gonna you know show you the listing on the ebay it's gonna show you the supplier again the same thing as well and it also actually tell you the company competition right here as well so normally i will you know go for someone who doesn't have a lot of competition so this are like it found me literally 200 products by running one scan it literally took like five minutes and it found all these items where it done the comparison between the prices on aliexpress and done the comparison on the item which are on ebay as well the other thing that you can do inside the zeke pro which all i really really like as well that you can also do a turbo scan so what the turbo scanner does you can just simply it, it is good for somebody who is doing drop shipping from amazon to ebay so here the same thing you can choose uh, your supplier as amazon you can choose if you wanna stick to one particular category like some categories are gated on amazon like you need a permission to sell so you can skip those categories as well and uh, also if you wanna only deal with a prime seller so and also it, it's gonna show you the prices and how many items you wanna find 200 the same thing but like just i shown you with the autopilot it is the same thing with the but just amazon as a supplier so once these types of scan are, are running in the back and you can always come back and you can check these scan by just simply uh, clicking on them and it will show you all the record for the, the, the item which it have found. So in my case, these are all the item it have found right here by doing the comparison between the prices on Amazon and doing a comparison the prices between eBay as well. The reason I love Zeke Analytics and I say this will be probably the first tool you should subscribe for 
if you're looking to sell on eBay, because when it comes to product research, that's the fundamental thing when you are selling on eBay. And Zeek Analytics like really make your life easy when it comes to doing your product research as well. I'm going to link uh, another video about Zeek Analytics right here, where I'm going to show you like a step by step how differently I do use Zeek Analytics as well. So once I do the video about Zeek Analytics, I show different, different ways. So I show another way you can find a product using a Zeek Analytics right here as well.